And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Rally. It's just been a while since we've played Vladimir. And even though it's a pretty tough world out here for um, fast, aggressive decks, you know, still want to give this one a try. We've we've done pretty well with this deck, uh, usually whenever we've played it, but we've had a couple of uh, rough leagues with it too. But anyway, you know, like we're just going to be attacking, you know, this is just a real aggressive Noxus and Demacia deck using Lucian, Senna with some quick attack going wide um, <clears throat> with Battlecaster trying to go wide and then having a big crowd favorite as well. Um, and then, you know, we have Vladimir at the top end where we do have a, a decent amount of one toughness creatures. So like Vladimir does kill our own creatures. But it's just that direct damage that hopefully helps finish games out. Um, and then, you know, getting like the extra attacks with Relentless Pursuit. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of what our deck's about. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's pretty fun. It's my favorite Vladimir deck right now. So let's give it a try. We'll go on over to... Let's go to the hall. Play some Vladimir. It's been a while. All right, well, maybe we can be aggressive enough and go underneath the Ezreal Karma deck. Or maybe they'll have enough good interaction to keep us from doing that. We'll see. I'll just keep all these. We got our one drop, two drop, three drop. You like Redeemer drawing cards for us? No one's the wiser. And I think I lead with House Spider, not Lucian, because um, it's just pretty likely that they have, like, if I play Removal Spell, or if I play Lucian, they're just going to Removal Spell it, right? Like, it's, like, that's all that's going to happen. Where maybe we, you know, go House Spider, they use Removal Spell on something else. Maybe our Lucian can stick around a little bit. So the good news is they did discard an Ezreal. That's the good news about that. Hoping we get to untap and protect Lucian with Transfusion and they don't just Mystic Shot. Darn. Yeah, it's true. It's a good chance that they have another Ezreal. That's very true. We've had, <laughs> We've had zero out of six allies survive damage so far. Yeah, I think we'd, we'd go ahead and play two things here. I kind of feel like it's better to play the crowd favorite than the Vladimir right now with me having this full board. 
and turn this crowd favorite into a 7 6. Okay, so we're going to attack. Always, like, you know, we want Lucian last, but then besides that, I'm attacking the, my worst attacker, the best attacker. Crowd favorites looking pretty good. Really hoping William doesn't show up. All right, at least not, at least not Will of Ionia. All right, so they're down to three. Down two, three. And we have a Vladimir. Vladimir can get that damage in for me. That's a great draw. That's probably just our best draw. Yeah, like that was our best draw. Let's go, Vladimir. Because just the Vladimir trigger will kill them. Yeah. Yeah. But well, still, them, you know, dying. Unblocked attackers. Weak. All right, look at that. Vladimir Rally taking out one of the two top decks. It's not like they had a bad hand. Like, they had a good hand. That's right. Win a game with Lucian and Senna in the deck. Vladimir Rally. But yeah, that, that crowd favor was big. Because he had dealt seven damage and then yeah, that, that huge thermogenic beam. <laughs> Take up their entire turn to kill that crowd favorite. <laughs> That's true. Neither Vladimir nor Rally were really the reasons why we won that game. I suppose that is true. Uh, that's not what I want to draw. This is an aggro mirror. We really don't want Relentless Pursuit. This is just a card that will just uh, get us behind. Possible I should have just mulliganed the Battlecaster. See, so yeah, Battlecaster is not so great in this matchup either. So you see it against House Spider, it just trades and they get the one they get a one-one still. Making 
the day deader. Wow, no nothing. Huh. So their plan's what, brood awakening? In which case I should attack right away. Brood Awakening is going to be difficult to beat. Hmm. At least Brood Awakening. Makes life even more difficult. Not great. Explosives primed. Go ahead. It's really not good. I was hoping they'd be too scared to block with Elise. Let me change into something more. How can I get four damage across? Awakening is like a card that's just kind of killed these these kind of decks. What I'm playing right now, Brood Awakening is really hard to beat when your when your whole strategy is going wide with small creatures. All right, another Ezreal deck. This is the Ezreal deck better against small creatures, though. So the reason why I'm mulliganing um, the Senna's just two toughness, three mana. It's probably trading down on mana for for a removal spell. That, th that thing just can't block. It's just not doing very much for me. me. What's up, Toasted? Thank you. Let's do this. But... Uh... 
Um. I'm gonna play that, and so I, because I basically the worst case scenario is that I play Vladimir and then they thermogenic beam and kill my Vladimir. I don't really want that to happen. I'd never keep my now we have the transfusions for protection. Thanks, Dotin. Thank you. Come on. Seven damage thermogenic beam. Toasted. Keep that sub going. Oh, I didn't reset this any anyway. We're at so we're at two out of five now for our sub goal today. Thank you, Toasted. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. Um. Just have to let that go. That thermal giant beam was really, really rough at seven damage. So basically, yeah, so I could double transfusion and then I have I have just like other one power creatures, but then it's like, what what am I supposed to do if I double transfusion? Do I attack with everything? But then my, my Vladimir triggers are just gonna kill my own my own things that I just transfusioned. Um, I kind of want to block with the Lucian and, and give both of these plus one plus one double attack. And yes, I am, you know, putting myself in burn range that they have double get excited, but they have double get excited. It's mean, difficult for me to win anyway. That hurts. Go away. Scare me. I'm blaming you, Boba Fesh, for that. I don't think they would have had Arachnoid Sentry if it wasn't for you, Boba Fesh. <laughs> yeah, honestly, whenever you said Sentry, I just thought of the Averrozen Sentry, the 2-1. 
and I was just like, why, why Sentry? Yeah, I just, you know, I just kind of think of this card like as like a Rachnoid. Yeah, they had a lot of they had a lot of answers. Probably probably would not have mattered. Oh, that happens first. Right, uh, it happens from left to right. I was thinking that that thing was gonna grow again from from the Lucian dying. Tough meta game to be playing small creatures. Even the so you know, like that's supposed to be a control deck. But I mean that that deck is really good against small creatures, but still, you know, like how they had turn one, you know, Blades Edge into Boom Crew Rookie into Draven. It's just all really difficult. And that seven seven damage thermogenic beam was a killer. Alright, this is the, the matchup we won earlier. The crowd favorite was really important in our win earlier. We we need more creatures. I really like House Spider. Reporting in. I'll do better this time. Hazard's asking if anybody knows how the deck tracker works in Twitch. Um, so I'm probably just going to rally. more tax in. Why not? Pride. No, I don't, Death Core Ripper. I do not. Get him, Vasid. No, Vasid. Vasid.
Alright, so Lucian's at 3 out of 4. There's House Spider. better just to get a 6-5 overwhelm and play whenever they don't do anything I, I get to go right to attacks then play the relentless pursuit all right sweet all right so we're good against Ezra Karma like you know they had turn one jury rig turn two that Navori card that's definitely got to be like their anti-aggro card So that's their turn one, turn two. You know, so they had their anti-aggro cards. So I think we're good against Ezreal Karma. So if you if you face a lot of Ezreal Karma, here we go. Ash, Katarina, Trindamir. Just go with all this. They have just a whole bunch of like frostbite stuff. It's gonna be really bad for me. Exactly what I wanted. I want another one drop. Yeah, maybe try refreshing El Hazard. I I'm not I'm not sure. That's a really good card, the Omen Hawk. Uh, that's also a really good card. Do I wait because of the seed? It's not that I have a bad hand, it's that's a that's really nice having double omen hawk. That is really nice. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. We have another crowd favorite. I don't want to not have as many things die. Playing a longer game. Ooh, that could be. I could do something. Also, maybe not.
Uh, yeah, those hearth guards are going to be really tough to beat also. Come on, a 7-3? What if they just have harsh winds? I guess they just just have harsh winds. I'm just dead, aren't I? I guess I'm just really pretty dead anyway. It's not a lot that saves me. So might as well just block everything. Just do the trades that are gonna happen. Frostbite card still good against people trying to attack. Still very, very good. Alright, so this is the anti-karma Ezreal deck. That's what we learned. The other stuff in the metagame, difficult to beat. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, just these days, like, this is just not a, a great metagame to be playing um, small creatures and trying to trying to kill your opponent with small creatures. Just very hostile to to doing that, but um, you know, I just hadn't played Vladimir in a long time, and wanted to play a little bit more Vladimir, um, especially on uh, Tuesday. We're getting what Swain? That's his name, right? Swain, which would be um, a really good mid-range Noxus card. And we'll probably be displacing Vladimir in these kind of decks. But all right, I mean, I guess we can we can say it's an anti Karma Ezreal deck though, or Ezreal Karma deck. All right, that's Vladimir Rally. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment if you're playing Vladimir yourself. Let me know. Um, you know, I always like seeing those YouTube comments. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Rally, and I'll see you for the next video.